All right, welcome to today's home flipping adventure. This is a very unique situation we're in today. An old childhood friend of mine I went to school with, he actually also coached my son a few years ago in basketball, he was in high school, has a two family and it burned, as you can clearly see. They had a fire, nobody was hurt, thank God. Great family, family of boys, tough family. So he asked me if I could come by and take a look at his house to see what we could do with it and if maybe we want to buy it and fix it or maybe we could help him find a buyer. So we're going to do it. Boy, smell that smell. Yeah, huh? you, can. I, you can't smell it through the camera. We can smell it though. The burn, Even the burn the outside, smell. So yeah. Let's go inside and take a look at a burned house. First time you see this on the home flipping adventure and see what we're, uh, see what we're in for here today. Wow. So we're in the foyer, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Huh. So it's a two family. So this would be like the common area and then and he told me so Nick told me that it's a two bedroom down and a one bedroom up so i don't know how the number is going to work but we have to look obviously we've got you know massive smoke damage this needs to be totally fixed actually this doesn't look too bad in here no but yeah look, a ton look of smoke check damage. this out check that out i tell you what fire just melted that bad boy look at that Ooh, mama here's where the fire started um in the front bedroom. This is a bedroom? Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. This is not for the faint of heart to walk around in. Look at the furniture and stuff. I think something was left on the bed. Why do I always wear the wrong shoes to go to these houses? Because you're a pretty girl, but you're tough. So this is the bedroom number one. So bedroom number two is going to be over here. Obviously massive smoke damage, but no, no structural damage. I don't see it. <coughs> Oh, that smoke like gets in your throat. Oh, man, I guess. It is definitely smoky in here. So all this sheetrock I'll have to get replaced, obviously. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. You can't clean that, I don't think. No. And then we, we would have some, I'm sure in there we that's have all, some. That's all gutted. Uh, framing to redo. I'm sure this frame works not good. So, so the two bedrooms are up front. Then we walk into a big living, living room, which is still got to be. A bunch of smoke damage. Yeah, you have to have, you'd have to have this remediated by a, professional restoration company. Here's the bathroom. Oof. Wow. I'm so good size. We're not talking this much during the adventure because this is this is a, this one uh, this is a tough one here. This, this is not probably, for the beginner investor. This is probably the worst firehouse we've been in actually. I would yeah. This is this is worse than the one in Albany. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Um yeah. look, they have playing cards Playing cards were on. The, is that right? Oh no! I thought. Oh yeah, it's yeah. soot. Yeah, I thought that was. Whoops. Okay. There, there goes we that go. game. There we go. Yeah, they had. Okay. They had. I bet you that game ended abruptly. These cabinets definitely need to be replaced. So new cabinets, new appliances. It's got a nice big yard. It does in a good. It's in a good rental area for sure. It's over here. Like a little mini mudroom. There's an area without any smoke damage back here. <coughs> Pretty amazing. So I wonder if anything happened to the basement. Let's find out. Obviously no no fire damage down here, but stuff. I wonder if there's any water damage though. I would got it, right? You'd think. This is an old so this is not that new of a house, right? You can see this was an old Yeah. It was an old house at some point. So the fire was up in that front corner, so we should go over there and take a look and see if there's like any sort of water damage. Hot water heater looks okay. So we have a hot water heater. Electrical panels. There's two gas meters, but I think the power is all on one. So this is where the damage is upstairs. It doesn't look bad down here. How is there not water damage down here? They had to put that out with water. Oh fuck, it's a lot of water damage up there. Usually, usually these houses are all, like the sheetrock's all yeah. saggy. Yeah, well, I guess there's some. Funny. Little okay. Little, we do have some mold. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to figure out utilities because <coughs> two gas meters, one electrical panel. Maybe there's another one upstairs. And one furnace, maybe. All right, let's go upstairs and take a look at that because I think this furnace needs to be replaced too, don't you? It kind of needs everything. Now this is funny. Look, look at the ceiling. This was probably finished before, I'm assuming, but sure. you can see all of the nail pops and the, the yeah. tape lines just that, from. And that was, I don't know if it's a textured ceiling or not, but it looks. Yeah. That's small. That's a big. It's that's just, a big yard. And then what? the stuff just on the walls just like yeah. dripping down. The, the carpet feels so weird. It's like squishy. Yeah. 
Well, so two bedrooms. Yep, so two this, bedrooms. This two bedroom here. down. All right, let's go upstairs and check this one out. Obviously, smoke damage upstairs for sure. Tons. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it's wet up here for sure. Oh, that's So bad. that fire, the fire didn't go through the floor though, did it? So the fire must have started in that bedroom, worked its way up to the window. It must that's have That's what he said. There. He said it came in the window. Came in the window and then went out. What, boy, fire works its way up, doesn't it? Fire's like water. It finds so a way. we definitely have structural damage. The 2x4s don't actually look bad. I'm sure on the front there's some that do, but... Oh, can, that I mean, smells. Some, some you have to replace, some you can sister. It just depends what the building code wants you to do, the That's building department. a really weird smell. Like, I'm used yeah. to pet smells and mold, yeah. but this is like a really unique smell. It's okay. a nice big space, but it's a one so bedroom. So downstairs, yeah, the bedrooms were up in the front. So maybe that's why this is only one bedroom. Well, if it's a if it's a two bedroom one bath, that's that's not very valuable. It, it it's better to be two bedroom two bedroom. Right. right? Let, let's go to the rest of the house first. Let's come back out here because this this could be. I have a thought which you'll let me know if it's good or not. I'm sure. So laundry. There's a separate laundry room up here. Is there an electrical panel? I haven't seen that they, yet. They do have their own laundry right there. Okay. Okay. Oh yep. Hot water heater and furnace. Oh, there is. All right. Okay, good. Well, that's that's and good electrical news. panel. All right, that's good. So separate utilities is a plus. Here's one bedroom, big bedroom. It is a nice big bedroom. Two closets. So we have smoke damage up here, but not nearly as bad as the rest of the house. All right, we're in the kitchen. Cathedral ceilings lofted. He told us to look at the ceiling in here and see the veining. Yeah. That's the, he said the, the um, restoration company told me that was the smoke actually trying to work its way through. Wow. So it went like above in the attic area, the soot and the smoke did, or not soot, but the smoke did, and actually started pushing its way through the sheetrock. So we'll probably, if we did this ourselves, we probably have to gut this ceiling. The kitchen's not bad though. No, Look at the cabinets. No, it's not bad at all. This is the ideal spot that we like to buy rentals in and two family, multi-family is good. This one needs a lot of work. As I'm walking around, I'm thinking this is gonna be a hundred grand all day long to fix. Oh, I think so, yeah. We'll have to get our project manager to take a look at it. We normally use our home flipping checklist and home flipping evaluator, and you can use it for this, but you have to have a spot for other, for restoration and construction. So there's a little, there's some costs that are unknown on there. So here's what we need to know though. Is I, I guess I was done talking, by the way. Yeah. Just letting you know. She was done Please do continue, honey. No, 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 I'm done now. <laughs> Go ahead, your majesty. Well, as a one bedroom, it's not gonna rent for that much. So we need to Correct. see if there's a place to put a second bedroom. So I think in the front, let's go look at that. <clears throat> what if we have to do full construction anyway, right? This is pretty lofted. What if you, what if, I mean, there's, there's a lot of space here for a living room. K, K, I don't want to get involved with going above the porch out there. There's a, there is a, there is a porch, so there's a foundation there. You could, but I don't think we get involved with that. I think, you tell me, is there, is there any scenario in which this can be a bedroom and that can be a living room? Could it be an angled wall? with a door here? Could it be a, you know, I mean, it, it makes it feel a lot bigger. And if you're, if you're in here with two people, you don't need to have a, this is a monster living room. No, here. yeah, it, it, yeah. Right? The, the problem is it's a weird shape. So like, you know, if you put a wall here. That's too small. I know. Right? Right. Well, that's why I'm thinking that's, come out. So if you, is, that's why I'm saying, is there a scenario by which you could come out I bet you never seen anybody do a pace off in a firehouse with glitter shoes on before. <laughs> so I bet wait. that's something you've never seen on the home flipping adventure that's or about, any other adventure show. I, I do think that there's enough room here that we can make something work. Because it's the only way to really, I think, make the numbers work. If you make it a two bedroom, so it's a two one, two one. Right. So realistically, you're looking at probably 1200 a unit, because it'd be all brand new, pretty much. 1200 bucks a unit, so 2500 bucks a month cash flow. So you'd have to you have to do the math. I think the numbers might work. But the char up there. So does that mean we need a new roof? Oh, I'm sure. Probably right. I feel like there's no space up here. Maybe you tell me though. You're the master well, of this. So let me paste this off. Hold on. For a one bedroom apartment, this is ridiculous. Yeah. 
Yeah, way too big but. for that. But. Yeah, I, I can figure something out for a bedroom in here. I agree. There, there's enough room. That's just framing. That's not. Yeah, that's we have not to a see big if deal. You get permits. It's not going to be a big, big deal adding a bedroom. Because yeah. you've got the bathroom, laundry, utilities. What, what do you think these rooms? These are probably 1,000 square foot apartments, aren't they? Yeah. And they're good size, right? Yeah. These rooms feel like they're big. All right, let's go back out front and chat. Let's look at the backyard because you're getting a headache from yeah, all the smoke smell. I bet my hair is going to stick to it. So well, here's a negative I see for a two family is this is a really nice long driveway, but it's only the width for a single car. Okay. So somebody would always be parked behind somebody else in a two family that's, or somebody has to park on the street. Not ideal. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice long driveway, but. Well, it's a deal breaker, but it's not ideal. The backyard is nice. Don't hurt yourself. So there's a deck on the back that comes off, so everybody can enjoy the backyard. Kind of a weird deck. Well. But, but nice patio. But it's an egress too. Yeah. I mean, it's an egress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let's be honest. If that fire had happened, right, you have to get out. And she was stuck. That's, that, that happened in the front and of the house. And it happened right by the front stairs. Yeah. If you don't have that egress window, you're not getting out. Right. So it's obviously, you know, I don't think she was home when it happened. Thank God. But nice patio. Enough room for a patio set back here. It's, yeah, it's a big enough yard. I mean, it's, you know, uh, so the siding's probably okay. Except uh, for the front and the other side. We'll have to, we'll we have to color I... match that or something. Yeah, because the, the side had quite a bit of damage on it. Yeah. It was like melted. All right, well, the town's obviously condemned this, so we got to now figure out what we can afford to pay for it. And, and what if we want to take on a project this size. Yeah, we have to decide that. You know, there's there's a cost to that too, not just yeah. financially, but just the time it takes to yeah. invest in a house of this. We won't be able to wholesale it where we put it under contract and sell it to another investor, make a few dollars for ourselves and Th this help, is a help bigger my scope friend. of work. There's you know sure. two bathroom well, two bathrooms isn't that big You're of a deal. Weeks that all day long with something like this, yeah. We have structural issues, we have roof siding, and not not just a new roof, but you know, new decking and new yeah. framing and it is work, but you think about it. When, you think about this, so once you once you Restored or get all the fire out, you just put it back together. It takes Correct. time. It takes time, but we're not building anything new besides the bedroom upstairs. That's just a little bit of framework. But, but it is a bigger scope of work because yeah. of the issues and because of probably what would be required to do. Because I think you're, I think you're a hundred thousand dollars, don't you? I, I that, that's my gut. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go back and we'll scratch the numbers out and uh, we'll see what we can afford to pay for it and we'll see if we can't make a firehouse work. We've done them before, so if we can do it, we'll do it. All right. Next one, the big adventure.